lithium-ion batteries had been the power of choice for smartphones and various other portable devices. However, lithium polymer batteries are now gradually replacing lithium-ion as the mainstream battery for most smart devices. We're going to discuss the differences between these two types of batteries in today's Battery Monday. First of all, Lithium-ion batteries consist of positive and negative electrodes and are separated by a liquid chemical electrolyte, such as ethylene carbonate or diethyl carbonate. These batteries are mostly cylindrical or rectangular in shape due to the limitations of the manufacturing process and the housing material. And like all batteries, the capacity of lithium-ion batteries decreases with the charge cycle and can even discharge when not in use. To make matters worse, the chemical electrolytes can become unstable at extreme temperatures. If punctured, thermal runaway or fires can occur. Furthermore, standard lithium ion batteries require a strong case to press the electrodes together, while lithium polymer does not. As a result, small lithium polymer batteries are lighter in weight compared to traditional hard shell batteries, and the thin film technology can offer more flexible designs that more accurately fit the space in the battery compartment. These cell designs can be made in a myriad of shapes, such as ultra-thin, curved, and etc., which also allows for more energy storage. Moreover, in lithium polymer batteries, the microporous electrolyte replaces the traditional porous diaphragm. An aluminum plastic composite film is used as the packing material. This aluminum film allows for more flexibility and a lower chance of thermal runaway and explosion from electrolyte leakage. Generally speaking, lithium-ion batteries will have a longer life than most other types of batteries. They can last about two to three years or even longer and about 300 to 500 charge cycles. Their cycle life continues to improve as lithium polymer battery production and technology matures. Additionally, both lithium-ion and lithium polymer batteries are suitable for high power use. However, lithium-ion batteries are mostly widely available at a lower price making them more suitable for mass use. There are ultimately pros and cons to using either lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries, and the best ones will be according to the client's needs. However, with the progression of modern technology and the increased necessity of more technologically advanced devices, we at Greyhouse strongly believe that lithium polymer batteries will be more sought after. That's it for today. If you have any questions about today's topic or have any battery related topics that you want to know, contact us by email at info at Until then, my name is Zach. And thank you for watching.